Hello and welcome back to Ramblings with Rebecca. Um, I'm all snuggled up and I'm realizing now looking at the camera, I think probably I don't look as cool as I should or as I do when I'm standing up in this, but that's okay. It is in fact my Gryffindor Snuggie. Um, thanks Bailey. It's pretty awesome. I have it on because we're going to talk about my dissertation and then I'm going to, you know, pretend to work on my dissertation or some essays or something. And I was like, maybe if I'm wearing my Gryffindor Snuggie, I will channel the Hermione. Um, we'll see. I mean, right now I'm obviously shooting a video instead of writing my dissertation. Um, so it's doing, it's, it's working well thus far. <laughs> anyway, um, so I rambled about my dissertation a while ago and talked about the Red Sea Dead Sea. Um, I rambled about said Red Sea Dead Sea dissertation to my dissertation supervisor a while ago and he kind of went, hmm, yeah, that's not interesting. <laughs> Y'all should have told me. No, I'm kidding. You wouldn't have known. Um, so his issue is like, there's not really anything like legally meaty or new um, going on, right? It would basically just be like, hey, yep, you got to check this box, this box, and this box. End of issues. Um, so it's something that would be very interesting and helpful for me. Um, but it isn't going to further law unless very unlikely to earn me a, a good mark or anything like that. And part of me was like, me. I might do something that's helpful for me anyway but then we were able to find something that was similar and very interesting and also still very helpful for me so <clears throat> my new dissertation title which is never ever ever going to change <laughs> um, is sign here for statehood and I'm gonna forget the rest of it. anyway sign here for statehood I'm gonna forget like the exact title um, but the role of international environmental agreements um, in creating formal, formal legal recognition for semi-state actors, something like that. And essentially, we're looking at states that aren't quite states, but are kind of states, but aren't really states, aka, or specifically for this case, these case cities, um, Taiwan and Palestine uh, in current um, world affairs, um, and the role that legal instruments um, around environmental agreements um, play um, in helping them get recognized and helping them kind of build statehood. Uh, so Taiwan, for example, is involved in a lot of major fisheries. Um, okay, oh, it's getting cold when I drop that. Sorry. Um, Taiwan is involved in a lot of fisheries agreements. Um, and it's, you know, often in many of these like big tuna groups and whatnot, it's the only not full state thing, right? So it's participation in that kind of, you know, builds its legitimacy on the world stage and then gives it of course access and more equal footing to many other nation states um the reason that the red sea dead sea here is you know in, uh, is relevant is then palestine you know is signing agreements with israel and jordan about the red sea dead sea conveys stuff um in the oslo accords which yes like they're fairly defunct except that they did do a lot as far as like what is, you know, currently governing. We, we never quite got to the actual Palestinian statehood part of things. Um, uh, but, um, it, it, sorry, included a lot of stuff around water. Um, and there's a joint water commission between Israel and Palestine. Looking at things like that. Um, perhaps then also delving into their role or lack thereof in global frameworks. You know, the United Nations framework on, framework convention on climate change, uh, Kyoto Protocol. Um, some international human rights treaties and relevance to environmental law, those kind of things. Um, so how can, in you know, this modern system of states, which again has not always been the way the world has been organized politically, in fact has only been focused on states in the very brief history of human civilization, um, but how those things, uh, nation states and these groups that aren't quite regarded as nation states, how they can start trying to get there. Um, and when does the state really become a state, right? I mean, because Palestine's been voted as a member state, non-state kind of thingy bobby dang um, by the United Nations. Um, but some scholars say it's not actually a state still. Um, anyway, so delving into that debate um, and looking at how these groups can play and then also the role that you know, not including them or having parts of the area, parts of the world that aren't states um, is harmful to the environment, right? Because then you've got like these lesser regulated zones or whatever, that kind of thing. Um, so that should be interesting, hopefully relevant um, to me 
give a shout if you have any ideas or concerns or questions.